Virgo, welcome to your monthly Tarot read for August of 2021. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, let's get on with your reading. Virgo. Virgo in love. If you're interested to watch more um, weekly and monthly readings, you can check out my channel. I post, um, I have posted um, quite a lot lately, so you can go ahead and check those out. Okay. Virgo in love. One more. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. There you are, Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. The star, queen of swords, judgment, <laughs> two of um, swords. Virgo, you could be in a cusp um, between um, Virgo Libra cusp, yeah? That, there is an energy here of somebody who may be a, a Libra, Virgo, Cusp. Or somebody with um, Virgo in their chart. Uh, Virgo Moon also, yeah. Virgo Moon or Libra Moon. Um, so eight of uh, Wands and uh, Page of Wands. Six of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords, Death, the Tower, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. It feels like a stalemate right now. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Coming into this reading, the energy that you have is more about stalemate. Two people feeling connected to one another, um, still thinking about one another, but it's the wrapping up of a cycle. Yeah, And after that, usually after you wrap up the cycle, you have done your healing process or you have, you know, you have spent some time um, doing some introspection about about your situation, about the person that you're thinking about, time passes. And once you wrap up a cycle, yeah, definitely the opportunity to start something new is always there. Yeah. Well, you are very much single right now. Mm -hmm. Very much single and you're very independent. You take care of yourself pretty well. You're attending to whatever you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. You've got your finances intact or you know, you take care of your responsibilities. Specifically your responsibility to yourself, yeah, to take care of your mental, emotional, physical well being. Yeah. Spiritual well being too. But I do see you still uh, I see you very um, independent, like I said, but at the same time, deep down, there is this connection that is very um, difficult to ignore. You may have tried to bypass it, or you may have tried, it could be that connection relating to this wrapping up of a cycle. This could be some, you're still dealing with uh, some residual energy you've had with someone. 
and it feels like it's very hard to not not very hard but the connection is still there you can still feel it right at times you do miss this person at times you would want to um, at least or this is you hoping um, that there could be some form of communication yeah from them at times you would also think that um, perhaps it's good to reach out and be friendly and uh, you know just to reach out to, to this person yeah, in a friendly way but most often I feel you and them are actually thinking about um, the good times you've had in the past at this point in time so there was a wrapping out of a cycle yeah I don't know what took place when when things have gone down but at this point in time it feels like there are more uh, more of missing one another rather than being bitter or hating one another you know it's more like the good things are more remembered now rather than the bad things of the past yeah. and it feels like it's for both of you. you 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 remember the good times they've done to you they do remember and miss you too yeah and this person is um still uh thinking about uh, this connection with you Virgo they haven't forgotten this although they may have shown some hesitations yeah in terms of um, pursuing something with you yeah. they know that um, this connection with you was um it started it had a good start yeah it had a good start but I feel like there was lack of um, continued approach or continued um, um, action yeah, from them yeah if you have been dating you know you might probably have been dating just for a couple of times several times and then boom it did not progress yeah somebody stopped um, investing their time money effort energy in calling you or talking to you or engaging with you but I feel that um, whatever painful past you've had now is somehow entering into a phase of healing. Mm -hmm. It's entering into that or, or getting into a phase of um, letting go of the letting go of the bitterness, letting go of the negativity, and. Um, both of you are somehow stepping forward to the unknown may not be together definitely yeah you're not together but you're stepping into the unknown of your lives whatever some some form of uncertainty future is always uncertain tomorrow is still not here what you have is just today yes so as of today there seem to be this sense of healing the past wounds and i could see that both um, parties here are trying to um, go on with their daily lives without really having um, negative thoughts towards one another no matter how painful the past was yeah and you could still feel that um, the other person is thinking about you and they could still feel that even if they don't talk to you they could still feel that link yeah the connection with you and somehow this person may have left um, this connection with you they have left a like so called um, an open door yeah they have not fully closed things out they may not have given you closure in the past mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't uh, they're not showing that they are interested to to at least talk to you yeah it's been a while perhaps this person is uh, you know that this person is also waiting for you to reach out first or to initiate. Mm -hmm. It feels like both parties here are waiting for each other to initiate some form of contact, some form of communication. Mm -hmm. But both of you are actually synchronizing right now and, and that's the reason why I can see that perhaps it's the healing phase because even if you are far from one another, I could see that... Um, nobody is initiating 
you have assumptions about them. Your assumption is more of, well, maybe it doesn't work today. Maybe it doesn't work with this person about this time. Um, but I feel that they are still hopeful to to reach out. At some point in time, they will. So I feel that that, was, that is your, your feeling towards this person. On the other hand, a person is thinking Virgo can be very busy right now, attending to their responsibilities, getting attention from everyone, doing whatever they need to do. And Virgo is kind of holding back too in, um, in giving into this situation. So both of you kind of assume that the other party is just busy with other things, <laughs> right? And that both of you are kind of assuming um, that the other party will reach out later. But no one is actually um, taking that extra step to do the move right to do the, the community to to communicate at least and both of you are actually thinking like for you in your case i can see that there is this sense of you wanting to to reach out but all of a sudden when you get into that point of manifesting from your thoughts from your wants you want to reach out you think it's good to reach out and by the time you need to make this step you stop and then let things be wait for some time wait for five minutes for 10 minutes and then after a while you get bored waiting and then probably you think of something else to do again so you don't really get into a point of of um reaching back out or wanting to give this another try but deep inside i can see virgo that you are willing to do that while on the other hand the person that you're dealing with they are wanting to communicate to you um they are wanting to bring back uh you know if you have been texting back and forth in the past this is someone who who wants that back they want to be more they want to be more available to you and they want you to be more available to them yeah at least to you know to talk to meet up to do new things together whatever you used to do especially if this is a a new if this is a new person that you have recently met um they want to revive they want to revive that uh, part where you started off and then possibly getting to know one another, getting to know what the other person usually wants or do during the weekends and all. They want to get back on that uh, situation. They want to be able to do things with you and to learn new things with you, however that means to you, okay? So this learning could be passion. You could be having the same things that you like. Or you could be doing some creative stuff together or for some of you learning to be more passionate towards one another at the beginning phase yeah uh, <clears throat> but for you you are pretty uh, grounded with your decision at least for now that you're single you acknowledge that there is this connection and even though you want to revive you want to give this another try I feel that um, you are actually embracing the ending you're not resisting it and and therefore it is giving it a chance to you know to be easily healed within you you're not resisting the change no matter how difficult that is and and you're pretty resilient you know to to carry on yeah you're not talking it's not good for you but you carried on and um you are letting this ending happen yeah and somehow i feel that you are not losing hope anyway that some point in time you could still be together or there could still be a chance to you know to revive this connection if you want to but as of this time i feel that you are embracing it yeah it's hard but you are embracing it which is really good yeah this is really a very good um this is really a very good energy to take on it seems like you are giving yourself this closure that you deserve whether this person has given it to you or not and i do feel though that um 
at least during in the next few weeks uh, in the next few weeks um, this energy would still continue that means that two people would still have this eagerness to reach out to to you know both of you are trying to manifest one another but at the same time no actions are are done yeah no actions are done um the one thing that i see here is that for your person uh they are trying to put themselves into a lot of things they are involving themselves into a lot of projects a lot of things a lot of networking things they network with people primarily um, this could be them this could be someone like a creative kind of person yeah somebody who is in a creative space or just a very creative person who do things um, um, through networking yeah through gigs through um, you know they get their income through those type of, of work and I feel that they would try to connect with other people see if um, their skills are good for other people's needs right and um, they would continue to do that yeah they would continue to do that and I feel that in terms of feelings they still feel something for you there are they still they still have feelings for you and um, they are just not in the space right now to really express it and instead of pursuing their want to communicate I feel that um, they would submerge themselves into, like I said, networking with other stuff, right? To to be more successful outside, to be more successful in their career, at least in during the time, during this time, because somebody here has walked away, and if it is them, or if it was them who walked away, even if they want to get back together with you, it's pretty. They don't really know what to expect for now. Whether are you gonna take them back? Are you gonna just drop them? Or you have already forgotten about them? But deep inside, like I said, they still have feelings for you. And for some of you though, I could see that this is a person who would try to, who would want to work things out with you. But in terms of actual action, um, some of you may get communication yeah, for those of you who are dealing with someone who has, um, let's just say, uh, who, who is more fiery. Yeah, somebody who, who very action-oriented kind of person. You could, you could hear from them. You could receive communication from this person. Yeah, because they want to be able to work things out with you. The only thing is they need to be guided how to do that, especially if they were the ones who left. Yeah, They left, and then now they just don't know how is it going to... What's the best way to get back in? Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, and um, let me know if this resonates in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.